Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're diving into a fresh batch of Blender add-ons and updates that might have flown under your radar. First on the list is super handy utility, X-Ray Selection Pro. This one's all about visibility management when working with dense or overlapping geometry. It gives you a quick X-Ray toggle with six presets like light, strong, and tinted versions, red, green, blue, to help organize your scene visually. You can customize the transparency and color per object, and when you disable the mode, it restores your materials automatically, no manual cleanup required. Plus, it supports backface culling, transparency methods, and works seamlessly in both solid and material preview modes. Up next is Go Boss Master, made available by Mr3D. Rendering realistic shadows in large scenes can be a computational nightmare, especially when adding objects like trees and windows just for their shadows. When dealing with 500 to 1000 frames of animation, this can waste a significant amount of processing power. That's where Go Boss Master comes in. By eliminating unnecessary geometry, it optimizes efficiency and dramatically reduces render times. It's a comprehensive library covering 13 categories of over 188 high-quality Go Boss to create ultra-realistic shadows in your scenes. And the best part, you can easily add Go Boss with the Go Boss Master add-on, and all the mapping controls are in the panel for easier access. Right now, it's 48% off, so if you're looking to add realism to your work, Go Boss Master is a perfect choice. Next up is... Physical Rain and Snow FX add-on by Lazy3D. This add-on bring dynamic weather to life with Physical Rain slash Snow FX add-in. This powerful tool lets you easily simulate procedural rain and snow inside Blender, giving your scenes a realistic touch with minimal setup. Fully procedural systems that work seamlessly with your scene. Instantly switch between snow or rain based on your scene's temperature. Add realistic rain splashes with two effect types to enhance your scene's depth. And Lazy 3D also released bestseller add-ons bundle at huge discount. And includes Physical Weather FX Master, Physical Water FX Deluxe, Water VFX Master, Real-Time Fluid Effects, Naturescapes Pro, Procedural Biome Generator, One-Click Physical Puddles, Time Master, One-Click Slow Motion, and Fuzzy Master, Realistic Felt Effects. This bundle will be extended with the upcoming Fauna Master Pro add-on. Now let's talk about Blender Kit, one of the most comprehensive asset libraries out there. Blender Kit integrates directly into Blender, offering over 73,000 Blender assets collection of high-quality 3D models, materials, textures, and brushes from creators worldwide. You can choose between the free and full plans, both packed with valuable resources. This add-on supports customizable tags and advanced filters, helping you quickly find what you need. Plus. You can explore different collections handpicked by experienced creators or even sell your own assets within the community. So if you use my link which is in the description, you get 10% on ProPlane. If you're an animator, you'll like Keyflow. It centralizes timing by using a single control curve that drives multiple animations at once. You group objects under a parent, assign points of interest along a timeline, and instead of keyframing everything individually, you use a master slider to control the whole sequence. Behind the scenes, the add-on replaces your keyframes with drivers, which you can fine-tune in the graph editor for detailed timing, slow-ins, pauses, fast-outs, all that good stuff. It also works for camera animations, so you can sync position, rotation, and focal length without creating a dozen keyframes manually. Next on the list is Creature Kit Bash, which isn't brand new, but it just got a big update worth talking about. Originally released a couple years ago, it introduced a cool way to build monsters and creatures by piecing together sculpted parts, kind of like Lego, but for weird biology. The latest update adds over 220 creature pieces to the kit, and more importantly, introduces real-time remeshing. As you move and assemble parts, the mesh gets dynamically rebuilt, which means no more holes or mismatched seams while you're designing. Just note, once you start sculpting, you can't reposition things, so make sure your layout is locked before you go wild with the details. Let's talk about Transform Tools, a gizmo-based transformation system that changes how you move stuff around in Blender. Rather than relying on the default grab, rotate, scale, this uses two custom gizmos, a source and a destination. 
It's kind of like Illustrator's alignment features, where you get to define specific reference points for precise movement. You can snap between points, mirror transformations, and even constrain movement along custom planes. It's a bit technical at first, but there's a light version to help you get started. If you're into layout design or symmetrical modeling, this one's pretty powerful. Next is an asset pack called Dystopian Blocks, designed for building those gritty, brutalist cityscapes. If you're into sci-fi, post-apocalyptic, or industrial scenes, this one's worth checking out. It includes 145 meshes, with 45 of them being structural base pieces and the rest designed to scatter debris and detail. Everything comes UV unwrapped, with PBR textures from 1K to 4K, depending on your needs. The assets are fully scatter-ready too, thanks to pre-configured geo nodes, so no need to play stuff by hand unless you want to. Another fun one is Soft Body Painter, which lets you define soft body zones by literally painting them onto the mesh. No more manually setting up vertex groups. You just enter paint mode, mark where you want the simulation, and hit apply. You can then dial in physics settings like stiffness, damping, self-collision, and even pin parts in place. It's a non-destructive setup, meaning your original object stays intact and all simulations run on a duplicate. Super useful for quick soft body effects without diving deep into Blender's physics panels. Further we have ModStack by Ruben. This is a super handy tool if you're working a lot with modifiers. It allows you to save your modifier setups as presets, which you can recall and apply to other objects, making repetitive tasks a breeze. There's also a fast access UI you can pull up directly in the viewport and a few customization options that make the workflow even smoother. Definitely worth checking out if you want to simplify and speed up your modifier game. Link in the description. Up next, we have Lightning FX's. Supercharge your Blender projects with Lightning FX, the ultimate Lightning Effects generator powered by Blender's geometry nodes. Whether you need a single lightning strike, a chaotic storm, or a stylized energy burst, Lightning FX gives you the tools to bring electrifying energy to your scenes, fast and flexibly. Whether you're after hyper-realistic bolts or stylized, artistic effects, Lightning FX's has you covered. Use pre-built styles or easily add your own. Take full control with easy-to-use sliders and parameters. Add that final cinematic touch with built-in spark and smoke simulations. Fully procedural and physically dynamic. Jump right in with dozens of customizable templates. Just drag, drop, tweak, and render. No time wasted. Sometimes you just need a helping hand inside Blender. And that's where the Blender AI Assistant from Blender Procedural steps in. This extension adds over 20 AI models that help you write scripts, solve issues, simulate physics, generate assets, and more, all directly inside Blender. No external tokens, no extra setup. Just plug it in and start getting help on the fly. Perfect for those moments when you're stuck or just want to move faster. Glucose is working on something massive. V-Dynamics, currently in beta, is a high-performance elastic body simulation system built on a cutting-edge algorithm known as Gaia Vertex Block Descent. This tool is focused on ultra-fast, high-accuracy simulation of elastic materials in Blender. Whether you're animating vertices, setting up complex collisions, or simulating different materials, this add-on has performance that's measured in seconds per frame, even with thousands of elements. There's even a technical paper behind this, so if you're a developer or physics geek, it's worth a read. This has the potential to become a must-have tool for physically-based animation. Up next is the Organic Add-on by 3D Dude allows you to create abstract, dynamic organic shapes easily. It includes gel-like materials, pattern presets, and procedural drawing capabilities. This system gives you full control over shape, density, collisions, and detail, no tedious modeling required. Just turn it on, tweak the settings, and watch your scene come to life. If you are like me, who have a lot of add-ons installed, then the end panel manager helps organize the end panel, which can quickly become cluttered, especially if you've installed many add-ons. This tool lets you create custom tabs, assign add-ons to them, and collapse or hide sections you don't use frequently. After installation, you can start creating tabs right away, naming them based on your workflow, grouping modeling tools under one tab, and rendering tools under another. This makes it faster to locate the tools you need without scrolling through a long list. 
You can also exclude certain add-ons from being managed if you rarely use them but don't want to uninstall them. Additionally, the add-on includes update management, allowing you to check for and download the latest versions of your add-ons directly from the panel. For anyone working on diverse projects or frequently switching between workflows, the in-panel manager is a great way to customize and optimize Blender's interface. If any of these add-ons caught your eye, check the description below for all the links. If you found this helpful, a like would be super appreciated. You can also check out the previous episodes for more Blender tips and tools. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.